What is up everyone? So the big question is, why did I move to LA when I could have lived anywhere I wanted? And why am I paying 7,000 a month in rent? Honestly, right? Well, I got scammed. No, I'm just kidding. But we're gonna get into all that. Before I do, make sure you like and subscribe because it helps me, helps the algorithm. And the more people that see this video, the more I get monetized and the more chances and opportunity I have for giving you free value and explaining how I was able to live and build my dream life and live it up at 22 years old where I'm paying 7,000 a month in rent, have my dream car, and I'm living the LA lifestyle and full left and right. So let's get into it. All right, so why would I come out to LA? Well, the girls, nah, maybe. But it was actually to grow my network. That was most important. And I believe in phases of life that you gotta go through work modes and play mode. This has actually been a transition of one, figuring out the future of me, my content, my vision of the businesses, and also to grow and expand my network. You know, I have crushed the seven figure mark, right? Cash collected way past that mark. But now it's like, how do I get tapped with eight figure, nine figure, and even 10 figure entrepreneurs? Well, California has got a bunch of them and I knew I could come out here. I knew I could take over and I knew I could meet the right people. So that's exactly what I did. But I didn't want to commit to anything too long because it's not safe out here. I don't feel safe. One of my favorite rappers just got shot and killed literally 10 minutes away from where I live, right? And they didn't do anything about it yet, right? It's just one of those things that there's a lot of stuff politically that needs to be fixed in the state, the city, and we're not gonna get on all that because this isn't my job. But all I can say is that get what you need out of LA and get out of here, right? But what are the pros and cons overall? The pros is that California is beautiful other than, you know, the trash, the homeless people and the, all that other stuff, but beautiful in terms of the nature. There's so many sick nature spots. I'm a big nature lover, right? And there's all these different beaches and all these different parts of like LA in general that are like different places. So you can travel and you can experience LA, all these different formats. And it feels like, you know, you're traveling to a different state almost, right? But with that said, there's st still so easy going to an area that's not really that safe, which is really bad. Uh, if you are um, and uh, someone that may have nice jewelry on or someone that is driving a supercar at a young age and it's just not safe. So overall, con, not safe. Pro, it can be very beautiful. Another pro is dating as a single guy out here is absolutely wonderful, right? If you're looking to, you know, figure out what your type is, you know, what the red flags are in a girl, what the green flags are in a girl, what really you like, that is a great place to do that. But the con is, is that I probably wouldn't marry any of these girls because we're just not on the same frequency about a lot of things. And that's a whole other video, but that's another pro and con. Another con is, it kind of goes with my first point about being unsafe is I don't feel safe even driving my car anywhere. I don't feel safe wearing my Rolex anywhere. I just can't even do what I want to do that should be normal for me, right? Which is just really weird. I have to worry about things that I really wouldn't have to worry about my hometown and other places. And you really don't have any firearms to protect you from anyone that has a firearm, which is very interesting, especially because again, before you guys say anything, I don't have my main residence here because I don't plan on being here too, too long right so i'm not able to theoretically legally have that right but again another pro about california is that you can grow your network massively and fast you can go to one of these parties in the hills you can meet 20 some celebrities you can meet 20 some business people and again if you want to meet eight nine ten figure entrepreneurs this is a great place to do that and to meet people that are plugged up it's a great place but a con is, is that everyone acts like they're someone and the truth is a lot of them aren't, right? They're all just smoking mirrors. They don't want to show you who the real plugs are. You got to go party, club. Apparently everyone just here, you have to meet through party, which is very distracting. This is why I consider this period of my life a play mode because I'm playing and I'm networking. I'm like, yeah, you know so-and-so? Like, and then you just got to ask qualifying questions uh, to get really through the BS and figure out if someone's legit fast so you don't waste any time and so forth. But again, another reason why I'm out here is actually because my business is going through a merger and acquisition and I wanted to meet one of the partners in real life. And I also just want to be close by in case we need to do anything together. And they're out in Malibu, right? And I ended up pulling the trigger. We did do the merger and acquisition. And I'm very grateful for that. And I'm very excited for where our businesses go together and what we can do uh, as partners, right? But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, overall, if you're debating on going out to LA, I understand this as well. The living expenses are crazy here. The food is more expensive, the gas is more expensive. If you are even questioning if you can afford it, don't come, because you can't, right? Like you literally can't, right? I don't understand how some of the people even afford to live here, because, you know, again, like, give roommates or get a really solid plan, really do your due diligence before coming out here, research the safe parts of LA, because where I'm in Hollywood, like there was a shooting at the Hollywood Boulevard the other day too, 
it's just not what it used to be but again i would not change anything with my life i'm so glad i came out here i met so many great people i've had such a great time like 2020 at the beginning of 2022 it was very but now it is i am thriving i'm peaking again i'm excited and you know i think i'm in love so that's awesome too but uh yeah guys and thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or if i missed any topics right please drop a comment and i keep hitting this mic i am sorry and we will go from there